Today, using Apple Motion, we're gonna do speech to text the easy way. First things first, go ahead, open up Apple Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can push Command, Option, and N. Then once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and select the Final Cut title and you can leave these presets at whatever your liking is and go ahead and open it. Now we're gonna delete the title background and the type text here. We're gonna come down, find our text tool and create a new text object. Make a short and sweet sentence that's gonna showcase the animation pretty well. Then we're gonna jump on over into the inspector, go down to the size and set it to 300. We're gonna go ahead and center it with the alignment, go into our property settings and reset the parameter so now our text is directly in the center. From there, come to the top of your screen, find the behaviors and go down to text animation, sequence, text. From here, come to the left hand side of your screen, click on this add button, go down to face, go to opacity, and now we're going to set the opacity down to 0%. Now, if we're looking at the sequencing item here, we can see that the sequencing is going from 0% to 100%. And that is exactly what we want. After that, we're going to come down to the animate and change it from character over to word. So now it's going to animate word for word. Now it does have this nice fade option and if you like that, that's awesome. If you don't, you can change the spread from one to zero. Then if we continue to move down, we gotta find this speed option and this is the most important option here. Change it from constant over to custom. And what this is going to do is give us the ability to add keyframes for when we want the text to happen. So all we need to do is click this down arrow, reset the parameter so it's down to 0%. Now right now there's a weird glitch where it's going to put it at 100% and add weird keyframes in Final Cut Pro. So to fix that, go ahead and just set it over to 1% and you should be good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and click on this down arrow and go down to publish so that this will actually show up in Final Cut Pro where it will be most useful. We're going to push command S and now we can name it something like speech to text animator and go down into our categories and locate the category of your choice. I'm gonna put mine in tutorials. Now that it's published, we can jump on over into Final Cut Pro. So once we're in Final Cut Pro, just locate your titles, locate the category that you put it in and drag the speech to text animator down onto your timeline. Then you're just gonna come on up to the text parameters here, find the custom speed setting and add a keyframe. Now you can just move forward like an until each word starts. Like and, like and subscribe and we're just going to do this for each word and you so now if I play back like and subscribe and you will win we now have the text animating on as I am stating it. Now you might be asking yourself, why is it worth going through this trouble with Apple Motion to do this? Well, if you were to do this with say, just regular text in Final Cut Pro, you wouldn't be able to reformat your text later on. And what I mean by that is, let's say that I decide, oh wait, I actually want these to be two separate lines. I can do that and it looks just fine. I can totally change the scale on certain words if I want to, and I can get this to format however I want without losing all of those animation parameters that I just added. So now if I play back again, like and subscribe and you will win. It's all still there. If you like this video, you might be also interested in this video about morphing text. And also if you are a patron, you can download this title right now without having to make it in Apple Motion. With that being said, I can't wait to see you in the next one.